Hi, I'm Chris Holden. This fall, I'm teaching a course for the Honors College at UNM called Legacy of Algebra. It's a humanities course about algebra. Due to the pandemic, I'll be teaching this course online. Because I wanted to aim for something a bit more intentional than simply swapping out class meetings for Zoom, something that could stay online and maybe find some use for not only my students, but the greater populace, although not that great, I mean, this is a class about algebra, I ended up imagining a series of videos that I'm going to call Anatomy of Algebra. I need to find a way to help you care about algebra as a human pursuit, Caring is the unseen impediment to most educational problems, and I have to ha find some way to make it happen here. I also need to encourage you to build enough background in the subject to be able to ask your own questions. I need you to want to learn to separate, but not discard, your own prior experiences in math from a more general take. I also want you to feel that there's some point to engaging in this work besides the grade you'll receive from me, some reason to be on our team. I want to build trust and confidence in us as a safe group whom you can be mathematically wrong in front of. And related to this last item, I want you to know that the attitude to correctness in math is one of the ideals most in need of fixing. Being right isn't a requirement of participation, one that divides pass from fail. Like in a video game, you have to fail to grow. The fact that we can make problems in math with right answers is more like the net in tennis than the central goal of our work together. My goal is to create an environment where we can all discard at least some of our baggage about school and get down to the authentic kind of learning toddlers know best. To have the most success, I need to look for a way to meet you where you already are with algebra, without knowing you ahead of time. I think I finally have an idea that may work for this. I want to start from the algebra knowledge we do have in common, the kinds of problems you're asked to solve in school. Instead of just showing you a method to solve them and then ask you to practice and perform that method, I'd like to take a given problem and unpack it for you. I don't think it will take too long to realize how little we know about why we do the math we do, where it comes from, what it really means, and so on. I'll make a series of episodes, each one starting from a new equation or problem or whatever. We'll dig in, and this will give me a chance to introduce some of how our algebraic world came to be. You'll slowly gain ground from which to ask your own questions and can imagine finding your own equation or starting point to work backwards from. Some of the starting points will give us some significant math to learn how to do. Some will ask us to see how approaches to it have changed throughout history. Some may ask us to research more complex mathematics in the hopes of building an incomplete but authentic understanding, and some be more about the history than the math. I'm not gonna tell you all the history here, partly so I don't get too sidetracked, partly because I want you to have a reason to go and read some of it on your own and have something to bring back to us. Instead of assigning a specific chapter from a specific book blindly, you'll know at least one thing that you'll be looking for. And hold, I'm calling this video series Anatomy of Algebra. Without any further ado, let's get started.